everyone so today i'll be doing an unboxing as well as a first impressions review on this new candle lamp so the brand if i'm saying it correctly is mackie t wow they did send this over for me to review so thank you so much for considering me they are available on amazon if i'm not mistaken and they have a bunch of variety of styles if you're into candles or you're a part of the candle community they have ones with uh timers they have adjustable candle lamps meaning that you can move the height up and down as much as you want. They have ones with timers, dimmers. So whichever one suits you the best, you can go ahead and choose or select the one that's best suited for you. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this one. Uh, just to know it did come in a bigger box, but I already removed it. So first off, I really love this carrying case. It has a little handle. I tend to keep all of the packaging for all of my candle lamps or if I make any purchases like with appliances and stuff. So let's go on to unbox it. So it's pretty easy. It just has a little opening right here. And then I think I'm just going to move this up. All right. So there's some paperwork right here. I believe that might be the manual. Yes, it is. So I'm going to read this off camera, but these are instruction or the instruction manuals as well as I think just any type of information you want to know. And there is the brand. Okay, let me go ahead and move this. So off the bat, I really like that it has some pretty thick styrofoam. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it without making too much noise. I believe this is just one styrofoam bit right here. Ooh. Yeah, so it is pretty thick if you want to look at it. Yeah, so I'm kind of used to if I ever order any candle related stuff you always have that fear that something's going to be broken but this has a lot of styrofoam so i'm really happy and i believe this is the top of the candle lamp warmer so it's a little bit of a spoiler it's in the shape of this very pretty cloud it's very dreamy like the decor in my room i have a different like a lot of different colors of furniture so i think white is always a good color to choose so let me actually kind of tip this upside down Okay, yeah, that's pretty easy. And then it comes with more felt. All right, so for this, I also want to note that it does have this felt material so it doesn't scuff up your furniture, like your dresser or anything. I've bought a few, um, what is it, candle holders that have left scuff marks on my furniture, unfortunately. So this one, I don't really have to worry about it. Okay, so I'm just going to remove that. I believe that this candle lamp comes in two different colors there's a creamy white which is a little bit more towards the um like a yellowish hue and this one is like the white white one all right so let me go ahead and move all of this out of the way i do want to make a note that i was um, putting away the styrofoam and i noticed that this candle comes with two light bulbs so one of them is the light bulb that you will install. And then the other one is a, a backup. So here is the cute little box that has the light bulb. Let me go ahead and open it. Actually off camera. Okay, so here's the light bulb. I don't want to touch it right now. I'm actually going to get a lens cloth cleaner. I recommend that because... A lot of times your fingertips have um, oils on them without you realizing even though your hands are freshly washed. So um, I want to make sure this lasts a really long time. So I'm going to go ahead and get an eyeglass cleaner. Okay, I got my lens cloth case and I have it right here. Let me go ahead and show you the instructions. Um, I've already read them, but let me just show you how they look like. So right here in the diagram, it has a lot of information like where it has the control knob where you switch... Um, like the temperatures and the settings so i'm going to install the light bulb right under the glass lamp shade okay so everything looks good here is how you install it it should be pretty easy and then i believe in the back it has instructions on how to use it so for example if you want to adjust the brightness or if you want to adjust the timer so one thing I like about this, um, I'll show you the candle lamp that I have as of right now. It's also a top-down candle lamp, but it is a little bit bulkier. So I hope that these are going to fit the Bath & Body Works candles perfectly. But I'm going to go ahead and remove this light bulb. Okay, there it is right there. 
and then I'm going to install it onto this. So if you can see right there, there is the opening where you put your light bulb. So I am going to get the light bulb that is included. Thankfully, there's a spare and I'm going to just twist it in. So I just changed the angle to show you a little bit better. Um, there is these two prongs right there. So I'm going to go ahead and meet them where the space is. So you should pretty much know when they're in place because it snaps in. So it's pretty much in there. So that is how the lamp or the bulb looks like installed into the lamp. Okay, so my lamp is ready to go. I can go ahead and plug it in. Um, but first, I'm going to show you the lamp that I previously have just so that you can have an idea. Okay, so here's the old lampshade that I currently have. And I think it's okay, but there are some issues or some pros that I see from the new lamp that this one doesn't have or yeah, that it doesn't possess. So with this one, there's like a pretty bulky timer that um, it's always kind of like just dangling there. And another thing, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the light. Is that if you look at this part right here, this actually isn't dust. It's just, um, it's been scratched. And I like the material that is in the Mackie T-Wow cloud lamp. I think that one is really pretty. Another slight thing that I want to make a note is that also when you place candles underneath here. So I have it adjusted for this specific candle. You might not notice it, but this isn't perfectly centered versus, versus the new one. It's like directly underneath. So I feel like you would you will have optimal heating because this one, depending on how well I placed it, it might heat up this side a little bit more or that side. So I'm going to go ahead, take this one off and then put the new one and you can see how it looks like. Um, but just to make a note is that I think that this would be great, especially for like a children's room or if your house is more modern and stuff. If you can tell, I still have like some old childhood bedroom stuff here. So let's see how it looks like. Okay, so right now this is how the lamp currently looks like when I just turned it on. So if you look at this top part right here, it says 50, meaning that it's currently at 50% brightness. Um, but first, to turn it on and turn it off, you just go ahead and press this button right here, press and hold, and then it turns off. So there we go. Um, but I do want to compare, uh, or not compare, but kind of like get all different candle brands that I currently possess since I do have a lot and see how well it fits in this new um, candle lamp. So I do have Yankee Candle right here. This is single wick. Unfortunately, I love the smell of this on cold, but I could not smell it when I lit it. So I did go ahead and try it. So I'm going to go see if it can fit. Another one I have right here is this Yankee Candle 3 Wick. So it is a little bit wider. I'm not sure if it will fit or not. And then, of course, everyone's favorite, we have Bath & Body Works. So we have, uh, this is a relatively new scent, Feliz Navidad. Then we have, this is the Homeworks Candle. This is their smaller 3 Wicks. And then the one that I believe will not fit in here, I think, is the Homeworks 4 Wick Candle. So this one has... A way bigger base it's an 18 ounce candle and it's four wicks so those are the ones that i'm going to go ahead and try and actually i think i'm also going to include this bath and body works candle it's a single wick in their older mason jar style so let me go ahead and show you how you turn it on once again you just press and hold this and it turns on right away okay the angle is kind of bad but let me just show you what this does so thankfully there's no big bulky like little toggle switch that i'm messing with this one, I can go ahead and increase the brightness. So right here, you can see it getting brighter, 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 brighter. Whoa, that's too much. So for example, if you really want to have your candle give off scent immediately, you can go ahead and put this as high as 100%. Or if you're reading, you want something more like calming, soothing, you can go ahead, put it at a lower percentage. Okay, so I think the brightness level that I will select will be all the way up until, let's do a cool 70, or heck, 72. Okay, now that I've already selected my brightness level, I'm going to go ahead and choose my timer. So for my timer, um, right now I'm filming this on the weekend, so it's off-peak electrical hours. So I think I'm going to go ahead, oh, see, I hesitated too much. I'm going to go ahead and increase the timer as much as I possibly can. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and do six hours. So that's the hours and those are the minutes. Okay, so for example, if you then decide, hey, I don't want a timer, you can go ahead and press and hold this. So if you can see right now, it's set to six hours. I'm going to, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. If you can see, it went back to zero. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a shortcut and do six hours again. So yeah, I'm pretty good with that. Okay, maybe I'll do a little bit higher. Let's do 75. Okay, now let me show you which candles uh, can fit and which ones can't. Okay, much like I suspected, the Homeworks forward candles are a little bit too wide to fit here. So if I try to put it in, it does not fit. So for Homeworks candles, if you do want to use it with this candle um, lamp, you would probably have to scoop out the wax. Or you can go ahead and purchase one that doesn't have these two bars on either side. But for the Homeworks three wick candles, ugh, I loved the scent of this on cold, but it just did not perform. Um, thankfully, it does fit perfectly right under there. Look at how pretty it is. I mean, it looked prettier if I ever removed the sticker price. So a Homeworks three wick candle will fit. Let's go ahead and try Yankee because those are a little bit like wider three wicks. So this is the Yankee candle. Okay, so as you can see, a Yankee three wick candle does fit underneath this candle lamp. Let me go ahead and try my Yankee single wick. Here we have that one. Oh, I love how this Yankee candle illuminates. Yeah, so a Yankee single wick does fit under here. And then final candles, of course, my favorite brand. Let me try Bath and Body Works. This is their three wick candle. All right. Oh, I can really smell that one. Yeah, so this one does fit. Okay, and final one, let me try a Bath and Body Works single wick. Uh, the signature style jars are a little bit bigger, but I'm sure it fits. Yeah, so this one does fit as well. So one of the good things about this candle lamp is that since the light bulb is directly centered there, it heats the candle almost immediately. You don't have to worry about like uneven burns or anything or having to place your candle like dead in the center. So I think this candle lamp is really nice. I like it. I like how it's white. I feel like you can put it anywhere. Um, I think it'd be best suited maybe like for example, if you're into candles and you want to get your children a candle but you don't really trust them with like lighting one because what tends to happen is that you forget that your candle is lit and that becomes a fire hazard so you can just go ahead buy them candles and then put it under a candle lamp and that way you don't have to worry about any fires or anything like that so let me go ahead and turn this off real quick because i still haven't decided which candle um i'm going to put under here Okay, so I already turned it off and then, uh, yeah, I like it how compact this is. I don't have to worry about, you know, um, that big bulky timer switch or anything. So let me just quickly go over the reasons why you would want to opt for a candle lamp versus a like a traditional way of lighting your candle. So one of the first reasons why I really love candle warming, um, especially the top-down candle warmers, is that let's say you have this big candle. And unfortunately, this was one of the ones that I can no longer return. I bought it on sale specifically at Big Lots. And if I were to use a bottom plate warmer, so that's the one that heats it from the bottom, um, what would happen is that this piece of wax or this chunk of wax would heat up and it would take hours upon hours for it to fully go up right here. So what you're doing is that you're melting and heating up the fragrance oils and you're not it's not dispersing the scent so if you do it from the top down you get immediate immediate fragrance throw so best thing to do is if you have a candle that has a low throw or you're not getting it to smell just put it under a candle lamp and i think that is a good way to like save the money since you already spent it on a candle and let's say the store doesn't have a good uh exchange or return policy so there's that one another candle that I have right here that didn't perform well. This is Homeworks Three Wicks. So if you might not know or be familiar with Homeworks, a lot of their candle quality has been hit or miss at times. And especially with the Three Wicks, they're not as strong as their Four Wicks, for example. So this one, it had no issues with the burn or anything, but I just couldn't smell it. And I really love the scent. So this is going to be one of the ones that I will be using in my new candle lamp. So another thing, 
It could be that let's say your candle does give off scent, but then why would you choose to warm it midway? So I'm going to show you one of the new Bath & Body Works candles right here. So this is in the scent Feliz Navidad. So why is it that I would warm it? Is if you could see right there, this was white at one point. And now typically, unfortunately, some of the Bath & Body Works candles in the midway mark, you can get sooty. So that's another reason why you would warm a candle instead. So if you can see, I didn't get any fallout, but there is soot and it's starting to change the scent a little bit. Um, right now, this is kind of like a toasty type of scent, so I don't really mind. But for example, if this was a floral scent or if it was a citrus scent, I wouldn't really want that scent <laughs> to smell like smoky or burnt. So that's another way or reason why you would use a candle lamp is that it prevents any... For example, sooting, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about a fire from forgetting to turn off your candle. You don't have to deal with that smoke. The only thing with candle warming is that since you're warming the wax, it won't evaporate because that chemical process is not going to happen. So you're just going to have to empty the wax, which is pretty easy to do. So I think I've already made up my mind and I'm going to warm this Yankee candle the fresh mandarin one so i'm going to put that under my candle lamp okay and then i almost forgot but another reason why you would use a candle lamp is for example if you have any issues with the candle itself and not necessarily the burn so especially when you order candles during the summer or just any time that the temperature is a little bit warmer you could have issues for example your candle might come melted so this is one of the candles that i recently received and unfortunately i cannot light it and it is because it came half melted in transit so right here you can't even see the wick and so this is one of the reasons why i like having a candle lamp is that i can go ahead salvage this because you can still smell um obviously the candle still has scent but i can't burn it so i'm going to use this on my candle lamp or another reason could be is for example if you have a candle let's say and you have it um, arrive but the wick placement is off meaning that one of the wicks is too close to the edge which could um, if it gets too hot it could shatter and break so that's another reason why you can use a candle lamp is just for safety purposes and for <laughs> at least in this case I still want to get the most out of the fragrance in this and I do want to experience the scent because I haven't tried it okay so here is the view of the candle lamp again uh, once again, this is not adjustable. If you are looking for one that is adjustable, meaning that some of the candles um, that this brand also sells, uh, you are able to move the light bulb closer to the candle or further away from the candle. But um, pretty much all the candles that I will ever want to warm fit in this candle warmer, so there's no problem. So I'm going to go ahead and press this button to turn it on. And once again, the first number you're going to see is the intensity of the brightness. So I'm going to go ahead and increase that since I already know what I want. Once again, it goes all the way up to 100, but I think I'm going to stick with, uh, let's go 92. Next one, I'm going to press it again to switch over to the timer. So right now I'm on the weekend, off-peak electrical hours. So shortcut, I'm going to go over to 6 hours, which is the max you can do. If you want it for only a few, like one minute, you're going to go ahead and do that. But I want 6 hours. So again, hours and then minutes. So I'm going to press this again. And there we go. It just kind of leaves off. You can either leave it in the timer so you can know exactly how many more hours or minutes is left. Or if you're like, oh, how bright is it? You're just going to click this again and then you're like oh it's 92 let me increase it or let me decrease it so yeah that is my unboxing and first impressions review on this new candle lamp from the brand Mackie Tewell again thanks so much for sending this over I really love the design it reminds me so much of like Ariana Grande's uh, cloud perfume again I recommend this especially if you don't like to deal with any sooting issues if you don't have to um or you don't want to deal with any wax discoloration, low throw, low projection, this pretty much solves it. That is it for my review. Let me know if you have any questions and hope you have a great day. Okay, bye.